while it's cleaning. The turkey from this morning, I've been at the library all day uploading videos for y'all. Running late, took so long. So I was over here cleaning this turkey across the road, kinda, where I've been hunting. <clears throat> As I'm cleaning the turkey, here the gobbler we got on this morning. Gobble over here. Open like heck, he gobbles again so I can. He went as far down as he was this morning. He's like 175, 200 there. That one's about 350 there. So, I'm gonna get between them in the morning. We're up and moving. We are uh, trying to get a little bit earlier start since we're gonna slip in <coughs> on those birds we heard last night. We're trying to put together a game plan on exactly how I wanna approach it. Typically, I'd slide in on one of them really close and be right above them, but I think I need to get on the same level. They seem to drop down to these fields so much. And... All right, we're still going to approach from the bottom. And I'm going to start climbing straight up, and it'll be without a light and all that good stuff. So, got about 100 yards or a little better straight up this mountain to get to about his level and that's where we're gonna set up shop we'll see how it goes see you here shortly I'm right where I want to be I'm not gonna be quite as close to either turkey as I typically like to be but I'm gonna stay right here between them I got them both what about a buck fifty about a buck fifty. I pick my tree. I put a bunch of junk around it. <coughs> the turkey above me is gobbling like crazy. The turkey below me, the original turkey, I come in here to set up on. Hasn't gobbled in fifteen minutes. But I'm fixing to make a call. I don't know what that's going on with this turkey. He's the one that gobbled so much last night. He gobbled 10 or 12 times and he ain't said nothing since. and just cut it and flew down like right down from me here. Hmm. I 
find out what happened to the turkey down on the front. That beats a freaking horse to fly. The initial turkey that we come in here set up on, no idea what that took. He gobbled good like a dozen times right there at the beginning. He's the one that started things off this morning. But <clears throat> he quit and I ain't heard nothing from him. The other turkey's gobbling so much flew down up top. He's still gobbling so heck, I'm fixing to go that way. Just blew a hen up. What I figured. what I hope is future wild turkey gobblers. I hate that I bumped her up. No way of avoiding it. I'm going to try to gain a little bit more elevation before we set up and call to it.
sure what happened there. I should have killed a freaking turkey. He came up right down the gun barrel exactly where I wanted him to. It's probably about 40 yards. I didn't kill him because I could just see like his head. There was a few little twigs in the way, nothing big, but I thought there was no way that he would go in even closer because there was no way he was going to see me in this setup I got here and he was coming right down the gun barrel. But for some reason he flanked right. Which means things get thicker to the right and I never could get back on him. I saw his head poke up one time right out there. I heard him drum a couple times. But that's been six or eight minutes ago now. It's weird. Like he was completely fooled, completely convinced. I'm just gonna be patient, just sit here. I don't think he's far, I think he's right here, in front of us somewhere. And I'm gonna wait on him to, he should gobble again, I would think, surely. And when he gobbles, if he's close, if he's right here, you know, still 50, 60 yards, I'm gonna answer him. If he's drifted away, He's more than that. Look at wood ducks in here. If he's more than that, I'm probably going to try to reposition. I don't know why I'm going to do this because y'all are probably tired of it, but I was sitting right here this morning. <coughs> oh, yeah, there's my sling. I mean, I should have killed a turkey. Yelp to him. He was gobbling up here on his own. He come up, and I think I should hopefully have some of it on video. He come up right there. That white tree out there is 30-30, and he was behind it probably a handful of steps. So he's right at 40, but... I could just see from his waddles up and there was a few little twigs in the way and stuff and I thought for sure he was bearing down on me drumming and I thought for sure he was gonna come. Well, he flanked right and never wigged, <clears throat> but just wasn't gonna finish the drill. And then he quit gobbling there for about 20 minutes and got to gobbling again. As I figured he would, cause I knew he wouldn't wigged out. So join me for the crawl. Cause I knew he wasn't gonna come back to, actually I called to it and tried to get him to come back and he wouldn't, which didn't surprise me. What I found is if a turkey comes into a call, doesn't see the hen, or gets a little bit spooky or whatever, for any reason, if he doesn't finish it on that first deal, and you, he, you can tell he's got that little bit of nervousness about him, then he might respond to the call, but he's not coming back. So I knew that was the case. <clears throat> Started making an advancement 
and here we go. We crawled through here. This was pretty easy going, even though the turkey was close. I had stood up behind the little rock there that we had initially set up behind. That's a big rock with leaves all over it. And glassed real good with binos, and I knew he must have been over his heel. So I, this was just all four, all fours type crawling. We came up through here, let me see, and there was a vine. That tree, I went to this tree first because I remember there's a vine coming off the right side. I came up hoping it would be able to see him right in here but no dice so we kept moving forward this was still all fours territory and i saw that old dead log right there so we got to sneak in about here where you start to top out that's where it got to belly crawling territory and you can see the pushed over grass where i've been kicking my feet making my advancement you can see all the limbs are leaves are laid over <clears throat> as a matter of fact Got up behind this old log. As you can tell, let's not forget these. That's where I lost my binos. Under that limb, he kept gobbling. And I got through this junk. And I got to here. <clears throat> and I thought I was walled out. And I was like, well, I'm gonna make a make a play for it. Cause he was just gobbling just right there. I thought if I can get to that big tree, oh, I like coming up behind something. <clears throat> and I wanted to get to that tree, so I had to go through all these briars. You can see they're all matted down. And <clears throat> I was able to get up under that saw briar there. Over this, got up behind. This junk was all hanging all over me. I <clears throat> got up behind this thing. I waited for a gust of wind, got my legs up under me, and eased up, thinking for sure, I mean, ready to kill him. I think I'm sure I was gonna kill him somewhere right in here. But no, that ain't how it worked out. <clears throat> I didn't see him, <clears throat> couldn't see him. He quit gobbling. I thought for sure that he'd made me because he just quit gobbling and he was gobbling good. Um, I didn't panic. Thought if he made me, it is what it is, but I'm gonna sit here for a while. So you can see where I planted my butt right there. And I sat here for probably 20 minutes, maybe 30. By that time, oh, he gobbled. Same place, he hadn't moved, he just quit gobbling. I think nine out of 10 people would have considered it a lost cause and figured that he would have, that you that he had bumped him. <clears throat> and I thought there was a chance, but I was like, man, I moved slow and I was low, never heard him putt, blah, blah, blah. So when he gobbled, <clears throat> I started making another move. And at this point, I thought, you're an idiot. You need to stay where you're at. And he's eventually going, because I mean, he was breathing fire at this point. Like he is close, but I didn't. <clears throat> I went through this crap. You can see why it's all broken down and stuff. You see my little path I've mowed right through there as I pulled myself through there. <clears throat> Looks like somebody drug a dead body through here. And I mean, I crawled at this point. I mean, he's close, close. I'm thinking, you know, I'm crawling within 20 yards of this turkey. I got up to here <clears throat> behind this old laid over log. Come around the corner of it. And I didn't come up to my feet yet because I knew when I come up to my feet, it was gonna be one of those now or never situations because I was for sure gonna be able to see him. And I saw that big old laid over log there and I thought, man, that's gonna cost me. <clears throat> I come up and he's behind one of the limbs of that laid over log or whatever. So I was considering my options, trying to figure out what I needed to do next. <clears throat> By the time he gobbled and another turkey gobbled right below him. I don't know if it was that first, that other turkey from this morning, I don't know. Well, it wouldn't, but a second later, I thought I heard a limb fall. By the time I figured out it was wings hitting each other and figured out they were fighting. So obviously with them distracted, I came under that log. <clears throat> and crawled you can see where i kicked up the leaves right up through here to behind that big old tree right there <clears throat> and i went ahead and stood up and i'm standing here like this and i'm in a little cubby got a laid over log nothing hadn't heard anything since i heard the wing slap 
So at this point, I'm figuring most of the time, in my experience, when turkeys fight, they'll swat at each other, and the victor will usually chase the defeated off, chase him off, you know, run him a couple hundred yards or something, 100 yards, whatever. So at this point, that's what I'm figuring had happened. I didn't know if he'd come back, what. So I stood here for maybe five minutes, and I thought, well, it's time to use this freaking mouth yelp I have in my mouth. Let's see if we can find him. I yelp at him, and when I do, he gobbles straight in line with that big old tree right there. So when he gobbles, under this tree I go. <clears throat> to right here to this one, and that right there is where I was sitting. <clears throat> I crawl into that little nook there. And I'm looking through this junk right there. I'm figuring I can kill him in a little hole right up here if he goes high. But I got this nice little spot right here. And about that time I, I could hear him drumming loud at this point. He's coming. And I see his fan come up behind that tree there. He danced behind that tree for, I don't know, a handful of minutes. <coughs> and I couldn't see him good enough to kill him. Waited, waited, waited. I was hoping he's gonna come left because I got some real nice shooting right through here. But he didn't, he went right. And that old dead tree right there. You see that old green bush just to the left of the bottom of that dead tree between it and that white tree. And there's a little gap right to the left of the dead tree. He came to that gap and I was able to raise his head in that gap. And we were able to finally claim that joker as our own. So I'm sorry that we don't have any video. The barrel cam was slap out of battery and had been for 30 minutes, but I did what I could. So let's go look and see what's just to the right. Oh, that old dead tree. That's what's to the right of it. That's the one that I should have killed for y'all right at after fly down today. That's where he laid there. How about that? And let me tell you something. He is a hammer. I'm talking, I ain't even picked him up, but I did look at these puppies. Look at that joker. I'm talking a hammer. If you really like big old spurs, that one should make you happy. <clears throat> I myself, I just like turkeys. They're a nice surprise, but my most important part is the turkey. <sighs> what a day. Man, he was a privilege. <clears throat> Thank you, buddy. Tell you what, you were the king of this mountain today, weren't you? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, man. I love turkeys. I love turkey hunting. And I love turkeys. I love hard goblin drumming turkeys. Man, he was doing it. We well, got lucky again this morning. Ah. <sighs> <clears throat> man I can't tell you uh, this turkey is an absolute hammer I mean stud I think it's pretty apparent that I like turkeys just turkeys I love a two year old turkey I'm not here for spurs or beards but I'd be lying to you if I said there ain't something a little bit different for some reason this morning about taking this particular turkey off of this mountain. I don't know what it is. So 
so yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm battling right now. <clears throat> this is his little this is his spot up here. He runs his place. Matter of fact, we heard a competitor come in right before he died and heard a few quick wing beats, wing slaps, and next thing I know he was back in his spot up on top of the mountain doing his thing. Just curious as to how many winners this old man has seen. And you're in Wisconsin to where these winners are brutal. They were talking about what a terrible winter last winter was. How just, br just brutal it was. How they had a lot of kill off. And you just wonder how many winners this old man has seen like that. And been able to bear through it and figure things out and survive. Only to meet me up on top of this mountain up here. Maybe I let my mind run a little bit too much. But he provided a uh, spectacular morning. We're coming in here <clears throat> to play the game. <clears throat> Today, my game bested his. And he couldn't have invested by anyone that would appreciate it anymore. That I can promise you. Maybe he could have been vested by somebody that's a little faster, a little taller, a little better looking, a little stronger, a little whatever. A little better turkey hunter. But he could have not been vested by somebody that appreciates him more or loves him more. That I can promise you. That I am 100% confident in. So in his honor, I'm gonna kick back against this old cold rock right here. We're gonna smoke this cigar. We're gonna love every second of it. To you, my old friend. <clears throat>